Hi, I'm Lynn from Lynn C Designs and I'm a UK based demonstrator for stamping up. Today I'm going to show you um, how to make a really lovely card with the beautiful day stamp set. I'm going to use a base of Blackberry Bliss and that is cut at 10.5 by 29.7 scored in this half so to give you a um, top folding card I have got a bit of watercolour paper which is cut half a centimetre shorter to give you a nice little border round and I've got a piece of whisper white for the inside of the card again these two cut the same size just to leave a nice little border around so that you can write a sentiment on the inside. So I'm going to get straight to what I'm doing today. Uh, I've got a bit of grid paper here and I'm going to do some heat embossing very quickly. So I'm going to use my dust, um, dust buddy to get rid of any static or oil from my fingers so that the embossing powder when I stamp it with um, stamp the image with Versamark add the I'm going to have to use gold embossing powder and that way the gold embossing powder will just stick where the image is or that's what we're hoping large when it's a large stamp and a large block I always take the pad to the stamp rather than the other way around now I'm going to come in from both ends and just so that I know where it is I am going to add my gold embossing powder embossing powder for absolutely ages and I do use it a lot and it's still going so I'm gonna then come in and do another image from this side so I'm going to corner and pop that back in my hand notice that my hands are a bit mucky I have been playing with some new um, pigment sprinkles and I'll show uh, the card that I made using this set um, with the pig I colored them with the pigment sprinkles but um, I'm not yet ready to, I still need some practice before I actually come and do a video. I just love the magic of embossing. Let's have our grid paper and I'm going to do, I'm using an aqua painter and I've got a block here and I'm just going to use two colours, Granny Apple Green and Blackberry Briss. Now I'll show you what I do. I don't know whether it's right or wrong. You only need a tiniest little bit of the reinker. Um, 
I'm just thinking, do I need to do the sentiment before I do any watercolouring? I think I will. So I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss. Keep the colour colour simple, you know me. I just need to be a bit careful because I've got some ink around the edges. So let me see if I can do this. Otherwise we'll be going over. We'll see what that looks like afterwards. So I've got my two colours, my aqua painter, and I've got a little cloth here so that I can clean my brush in between the colours. So rich Razzleberry is very rich, very rich indeed. So what I need to do, which I always forget, I want to wet. That doesn't. I'm not worried because this is um, pink because that's the colour that I want. But you would normally start just with with clear water to wet the area. And then pick up some of the colour. Hopefully you can see that. And less is more. We did one of these classes, cards in my last class. And um, the sample I'd made was with watercolour paper like this. But the paper that I actually cut for my ladies was the um, shimmery white now that works just as well um, but it is a different look so you can see the water kind of spreads so that's why i wasn't really worried about it being so intense so i'm going to have it in darker in the middle just spread that colour out. The thing with watercolour paper is every time you do it, it's different. So let's clear a little bit off. I'm going to try and let that dry. It does dry a different colour. So I'm going to see what it looks like. And watercolouring really isn't my thing, but we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? And I just thought um, that I would show most of the my friends that come to my class have a go but um, I kind of explain what I do I don't really show them in my classes so I wouldn't say it's a demonstrate as such I just kind of explain what I've done and then let them to have a leave them to have a go and they all seem to have fun sometimes I have to Give me a little bit more help and sometimes if it's really complicated then I do I'm just you know you can always add but you cannot take away and I'm hoping I did white embossing the class in class I've done an example with black embossing and I thought I would try on camera with gold. But you know, not sure. I'm sure people that do watercolouring will be saying that I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> and I'd love some feedback. Um, as I say, 
we all have to come out of us our comfort zone now i quite like that and now i'm liking the the sentiment as well so um but what i'm going to do is because I'm using the green as well, I'm just going to quickly um, heat that with the embossing tool from below to kind of dry off so that I don't it don't get any runs. So, so we'll try and make sure that we've cleaned off the brush because we don't want pink it's such an intense colour bit there we really don't need a lot of this green because it's only one leaf right but oh, it's just so lush. And I'm just going to colour that straight in here. And then we'll just pop there. Fabulous. So I'm gonna give that again, let give that a dry. Now you could, I always do the back side because I, I think that it, it um, helps it to sort of un uncurl. So we could um, add some more colour but I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to, with my glue, oh, Both pieces on my card. Green one on the inside. That one on the outside. Now I do sell all of the bits that I'm demonstrating today. You'll find links to my online store and all the dimensions as a, this is, you know, you couldn't get more simple. Um, I'm going to use the biggest block we have just as a little weight. Yes, so uh, my blog is at in www.lennyc.blogspot.com now the only thing i thought about doing and i'm not sure i've got enough of them was putting some little let's see i've got three six nine little gold sequins for the center maybe we'll just do one Play ball. Guess what's going on my next order? So I tend to order once a month. Um, there we go. That looks fabulous. Gives it a little, little something. And then the inside on this occasion is blank. I may find a sentiment to put it in, but I just wanted to try and show you one stamp set at a time and i think it's lovely so thank you very much for watching see you again soon